Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Engineering Dynamics. The problem says that the velocity of a particle tra traveling along a straight line is given by this equation. So we have this equation V equals to 3 t square minus 60 feet per second. So it is said that uh, if s is equal to 4 feet when t equals to 0, determine the position of the particle when t equals to 4 second. What is the total distance traveled during the time interval t equals to 0 until t equals to 4 second? Also what is the acceleration when t equals to 2 seconds? So now we are given this v as a function of time and we are asked to find the total distance traveled and the position of the particle when t equals to 4 seconds. And we have to find the total distance traveled from t equals to 0 until 4 seconds and we have to find the acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds. So now for this uh, to find the total distance traveled we need to have the equation for the distance traveled as a function of time. So now we know that velocity is ds by dt. So from this equation we can write that ds is equal to 3t square minus 6t into dt if we multiply both sides of equation by dt and then to find the equation of the uh, the s as a function of time equation we have to integrate both sides of equation so now in the problem statement it is said that when t equals to 0 s is equal to 4 feet so now we have to integrate this from 0 to t and when t equals to 0 s is equal to 4 so we have to write this as we need to integrate this from 4 to s so now if we integrate this, so this will cancel out and we will be left with s and if we put these limits, this will be s minus 4 and then the integration of this, so this will be 3 t to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 6 t squared divided by 2 and from 0 to t. So now this is s minus 4 and 3 t cube divided by 3 will be t cube minus 60 square divided by 2 is 3 t square and now from this we can write that s is equal to t cube minus 3 t square plus 4 now keep in mind that while finding the total distance traveled first of all you people have to find t values for which the velocity will become zero that is very important so now first of all we will find those t values for which uh, the velocity will become 0. So now we can write that velocity is equal to 3 t square minus 6 t and now we can write this equation as if I take 3 t common so we can write this as t minus 2 and if we equate this equals to 0 so that equation will give us t values for which the velocity will become 0. So now we can write that 3 t will be equal to 0 and t minus 2 will be equal to 0. So from this we can write that t equals to 0 and t equals to 2. So for t equals to 0 the velocity is 0 and when t equals to 2 second the velocity is equal to 0. So this corresponds to the velocity values that will be equal to 0. So now we will find the, uh, the position of the particle at t equals to 0. The position of the particle at t equals to 0, t equals to 2 and t equals to 4 seconds right since we want to find the total distance between t equals to 0 and 4 seconds this is very important right so now the initial distance is s naught that is when t equals to 0 s naught is 4 meet uh, 4 feet this is given now when s is equal to uh, when t equals to when t equals to 2 seconds we have to find s so s is equal to s2 for t equals to 2 we we are writing that as 2 and now we need to put t equals to 2 in this equation so this will be 2 to the power 3 minus 3 into 2 square plus 4 so this is we can write that 2 to the power 3 is 8 minus 3 into 2 square is 4 and plus 4 this gives us 0 so as 2 equals to 0 so when t equals to 2 second s2 is equal to 0 feet and now when s, in s is equal to when t is equal to 4 seconds then the distance traveled is as 4 so now we have to put t 
equals to 4 seconds in this equation. So that will be 4 to the power 3 minus 3, 4 to the power 2 plus 4. So this gives us 4 to the power 3 minus 3 into 4 square plus 4. This gives us 20 feet. So now the, uh, the problem says that determine the position of the particle when t equals to 4 seconds. This is the answer for that particular part. For t equals to 4 seconds, the particle travels a distance of 20 feet. And then what is the total distance traveled during the time interval? So for that, we have to draw the, the distance travel diagram. So for that, let's say that this is my reference line. And somewhere here is, let's say, s equals to 0. And then we have uh, four feet. And then we have 20 feet. We have these values for distance traveled. So when t equals to zero, s is equal to four feet. When t equals to two second, s is equal to zero feet. And when t is equal to four second, the distance traveled is 20 feet. So now when t equals to zero, when t equals to zero, the particle is somewhere here at four feet. This is when t equals to zero, the particle is at four feet. So now let me draw that the particle is somewhere here. Now when t equals to two seconds, the particle is at zero feet location. So this means that the particle travels in this direction and it reaches here. So when t equals to two seconds, the particle position is at s equals to 0 and then we know that when t equals to 2 seconds when t equals to 2 seconds the velocity is 0 so so at this particular instant the particle stops for a moment for a very small interval and then it returns back so then it travels back right so it travels back towards the right and then it travels a distance of it reaches to a point equals to 20 feet so it travels a distance of 20 feet when t equals to 4 seconds now the total distance traveled is the total distance traveled is equal to so the total distance traveled will be this distance traveled plus this distance traveled so this distance is 4 this is 4 minus 0 so this is 4 and this is 20 minus 0 so this is 20 so we can write that 4 plus 20. So the total distance traveled is 24 feet. Now the problem also says that what is the acceleration when t equals to 2 seconds. So we have to find the acceleration as a function of time. We are given the velocity as a function of time. So we have v equals to, we have v equals to 3t square minus 60. And we know that acceleration is dv by dt. So we have to take the derivative of this, d by dt, 3t square minus 60. So now the acceleration will be equal to, now the derivative of this will be 60 minus 6. Now we have to find acceleration when t equals to 2 seconds. So we have to put, put t equals to 2 in this equation. So now the acceleration at the acceleration at 2 seconds will be equal to 6 into 2 minus 6. This is 12 minus 6. This is 6 feet per second square. So this is the acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.